Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about the MCU possibly getting a, a soft reset. It appears that they have no, no, to no, fix it's it. No, no, it's a creative retooling. It's not a soft reset. It's they're a made, soft reset. They're, they're like, nah, -uh, they're just going to retool what they already have. No. Because they, the they put the tool in retooling. No, this is a soft reboot. They, they basically screwed up phase four and phase five so much that they're going to have to reboot the MCU. It's going to be a soft reboot. And they'll probably have some story reason for it. Uh, I can almost guarantee it. And, you know, with Secret Wars coming up, that's a great a great excuse to just be like, yeah, let's just reset the whole thing. Yeah. You know? Well, apparently they were going to make some changes anyway because of Jonathan Major's situation. Oh, yeah. A bunch of things which we're going to talk about. So let's uh, let's uh, talk about this. Before we get to it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants. Guys, you get woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Uh, this is coming from The Hollywood Reporter. You covered it on PiratesandPrincesses.net. Yeah, this morning. Uh, today that they're going to do a creative retool. That's what they're calling uh, it. So they said they're quietly retooling it. No, they're not quietly. They're not quietly retooling it. In fact, we had uh, Samu Liu out there a couple days ago saying that he wasn't even sure if he was going to be in Avengers 5 or if there was going to be a Shang-Chi 2. No, apparently he's according to him there still is. Oh, I'm sure. But yeah, so... A Guess what? Marvel's not doing too hot. What? In case you didn't figure that out, and they're like, they're like, oh, well, right now you just had these announcements about Deadpool Wolverine. Well, Deadpool Wolverine just you found out the name was Deadpool Wolverine. Otherwise, you already knew it was coming. Yeah. And they're basically banging on Deadpool. Literally, when he says he's he's Marvel Jesus, he's not joking. Um, he's supposed to resurrect Marvel. And then they're talking about the Fantastic Four announcement. They're going to start filming right. this summer, I think, in London. But they brought somebody in to polish the script, and that's what they're doing. They're returning, like they're they're cutting back the number of stuff. Yes. They're giving the power back to showrunners or writers, and instead of having multiple directors and crap on these shows and things, they're trying to. They're bringing people in that that have um, won awards or are vetted in some way to take over instead of just handing it to somebody because they're there and they're the right identifier that day. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's the truth. Is what it is. Um, yeah. You have not, and of course, that doesn't mean just because you you know someone's diverse, they don't know what they're doing because one of them's a woman. They were they were handing out or they're handing out the keys to two hundred million dollar movies to like anybody that showed up that just happened to have, you know, oh I did an indie film, but I just happened to be the right checkbox. Well, here you go, have two hundred three hundred million dollars, just go make a movie. Right, right, right. What could possibly go wrong? But then they found out that making a lot of movies and shows doesn't necessarily mean that people are going to like it and you can actually kill the, the MCU, which is what they did. Um, apparently, oh, yeah, they have the X-Men 97 or what if, which that's a whole nother That's thing. a whole nother issue, yeah. Um, yeah. Apparently, the whole thing, like the re one of the reasons they're retooling stuff is because they were going to use the Avengers was going to be the Kang Dynasty. Yes. Well, according to this article and their insiders... Disney's probably going to remove Kang completely or walk back the role significantly. They're probably going to change the name for Avengers 5. And they were already starting to do this before Jonathan Majors got in trouble, according to their sources, because no one went to Quantumania. No, he's not. He's not a big enough threat. I mean, Kang is a threat in the, the comic comics, version. But the way that they've handled him in the MCU, he's just like some rando. You know, it's not he's not he's not a big threat. You know, he really isn't compared to Thanos. He's he's nothing. Galactus would be a bigger threat, which I could see them doing something with Galactus now that they have the Fantastic Four, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. Well, Thunderbolt is basically, you know, Suicide Squad. Yeah, pretty is much. Is what they're doing with that. Um, and they're talking about, they're talking about um, the movies going forward and how Bob Iger's made comments that they're going to cut back on the number. Because you had Secret um, Invasion last year, and it was terrible. Yeah, that should have been. So this is a this is a show that I guess followed up on Agents of Shield and it had um Nick Fury in it and that was one that people were actually really excited for kind of well, I guess reasonably excited for, right? And it wound up being one of the worst shows that they've done. So they did Nick Fury dirty. Yeah, they did him dirty. And um it's just people are just they're just turning tuning out because it's too much, it's subpar. And it's interesting because they're like, they're like, they're going to go and they're calling it. Yeah. They're not calling it a reboot. They're not even a soft one, but more of a creative retooling. No. Cause if they, if they called a reboot, they have to admit they were wrong and they don't want to admit, or they can't admit that they're wrong, especially with everything going on right now with, especially uh, with getting rid of Pearl Mutter and yeah. 
And yeah. then Foggy has to make, oh shit. Yeah. So, you know, for those of you who haven't been paying attention to what's going on with the proxy war, we've got Nelson Peltz from Tryon and he's got access to, or controlling uh, uh, interest in um, Ike Perlmutter's shares. Ike Perlmutter was the boss of Marvel and they ousted him like a year or two ago. And he's very, very salty. Well, but they the waited until after the uh, Peltz pulled back on the proxy war last time, but because Perlmutter yeah. backed Peltz, yep. immediately Iger fired Perlmutter. And then they're yeah. saying about how he, he Perlmutter was just trying to get revenge on Iger. It's yeah. Like, well, Iger did it first. Yeah, I, I would too. I'd be like, you know, if if you're gonna uh if you're gonna aim for the king, you better not miss, right? That that's kind of what what was going on. And and Perlmutter was in charge of Marvel when they made the deal which is why he came along for the ride. Well, I mean, the deal said, with Perlmutter, Disney. I mean, I'm not going to say that Perlmutter makes every good choice. No, but he was, that that's not the case, but he was there when they started the MCU. And now he did make some really poor choices. I think with the inhumans, and yes. he, was, he was, he was that's pissed off at Fox. And then they're like, Oh, we're going to push Inhumans over mutants, but we're going to make sure that it's like a really budget cut version of the inhumans. And you know what I'm saying? But, yeah. um, you know, at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, he was, he was in charge and they fired all of his people. They fired uh, Jeff Loeb. I think they fired a bunch of people that were in charge of the daredevil series. Yeah. Well, the daredevil series is probably for the best because that's one of the things I was going to bring up. They, um, cause they're trying to course correct. They're trying to be They're They're actually like, well, shit, what, what's, what do people want to watch? Which is what you should have been asking yourself, <laughs> you know, several years ago. That That's the arrogance of Disney though. They don't want to, they don't want to do any kind of focus group or test. They don't want to be like, Hey, just what slap Marvel on it. Yeah. They're like, what do people want to watch? Oh no. We're going to tell them. We're going to tell right. them what they should be watching. And guess what? People don't like that anymore. The no. whole days of telling them they're is to phobe and expecting them to be like, Oh, Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. Are over. And like for daredevil, for example, they did get rid of the people behind it, brought in a showrunner and writer to run the whole thing instead of having each you know episode directed by somebody different, which was they've done with different shows didn't work. Yeah. And they're going to have somebody like to oversee the whole thing and one story across. It. And they brought back characters that people wanted from the first show, the one on the one on Netflix, the Daredevil on Netflix. Yeah. So they brought uh, Karen and Foggy back. Yes. And I, I still think it's going to be a very nerfed version of Daredevil because Disney is not going to push it as as hard as as Netflix did. Mm -mm. You know, they're just not, and uh, it's going to be hard to you know put Daredevil back to where he was before after he had his fling with She Hulk. I mean, well, that just makes know, the whole thing ridiculous. They need to put Daredevil where it was at Netflix, but they're not. They probably won't. No. I mean, if they do, I'll be very surprised. That's what they need to do, but will they? Yeah. So, I mean, the whole thing's up in the air. I, I think at this point, they're they're very uh, much depending on Deadpool and Wolverine kind of reset and everything. We all know what the, the extent of that's going to be because he's like, supposedly it's going to be multiverse thing. So maybe they could, you know, have him come in and, you know, just kill off some of the MCU. You know, just get rid of it or consolidate some timelines or something because they got to fix it. Like everything, everything that's been done say for a couple of projects in phase four and phase, phase five has been a complete bust. Right. Just in the last year, the only one that yeah. did even quasi that made money probably was guardians three. And that was kind of its own like self-contained thing, right? Right. Guardians, yeah. And yet man, the wasp quantum mania, I don't think if it broke, even it was barely, I don't even think it did. And then the marbles, they know lost at least a hundred million. Oh yeah. And that doesn't count like, you know, secret invasion and all that shit. It's like, they just keep messing up. And so now they have to, to, to get it right. And yeah, and that's why I think you saw the Fantastic Four that wasn't, you know, we were expecting it to be gender bent like crazy because that was the rumor. And then we finally got a casting announcement and it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't. The only, the only uh, I guess, if you consider him race bent uh, character would be Pedro Pascal. Which, Even then, I don't think it's that's enough to uh, no. be, you know, I just don't think he's the right person for the part. I don't think but he's right. I don't right think it's because he's too, too dark skinned or something like that. No, I just no, don't no, think no. he's the right person. Um. I don't see him as as Reed Richards at all, personally, but but you know who knows. But right now he's popular because of The Last of Us and The Mandalorian, so they're gonna they're gonna use him, right? They need somebody that they they consider to be an A lister, even though I don't think Pedro Pascal in anyone's universe is really an A lister. But uh, you know, he's, I don't know. He's there. There's a lot of people think that he is. I think he thinks he is. But <laughs> the point is, Marvel's now acknowledge. Well, no. They're not acknowledging, but they're still doing something about, like you said, they're not acknowledging there's a problem. They're just retool, creative retooling of what we already planned. That bullshit. You're not, you're not holding back on Disney plus shows. You're not scrapping projects. You're not, you're not uh, reshooting significant portions of daredevil and captain America Four. 
uh, you know, because you, you had a plan. You, you didn't have a plan. That was the problem. They didn't have a plan, and now they have to try to to unfuck all the fuck ups. That's what it is. It's like they're they're trying to you know fix the problems, but they're trying to say, oh, there are no problems. We're just tweaking it. It's like, no, no. Yeah, yeah. You're like pushing things back, but they didn't even mention Blade at the shareholder. Oh, yeah, they Blade, mentioned yeah. Captain America four. Yeah. Bob Iger flat out said they're gonna they're gonna refocus it. Yeah. Some of our studios lost a little focus. So the first step that we've taken is that we've reduced volume. Uh, we reduced output, particularly at Marvel, in order to ensure the films you're making can be even better. They want to give breathing room between them because an all you can eat buffet is good once in a while, but you don't want it every day. That's, yeah. I mean, that's a pretty accurate, I think that's a pretty accurate. You get uh, sick of it. Everybody's gotten food poisoning. That's, that's the thing because there are too many fingers in the food, right? Just, Nobody's washing their hands and now everybody's got food poisoning and they're retching and they're shit in their well, pants okay, and they're smearing either. it all over the seats. It doesn't help either that it was, what the hell? It doesn't help either that, um, did you ever see that scene in stand by me where the, the pie eating contest with Will Wheaton? I probably did, yeah. but it's been years. I well, don't want to stand by me. Can we not, me, not talk about yeah, it? Well, there's gross. a lot of retching going on. Um, so it's kind of like, you know, there's a buffet, like you went to a burger buffet and you wanted, everybody's loving this burger buffet and they want more and more of the burger buffet. But then you switch it to like a, you know, fish taco buffet. And while there is a demand for some fish tacos, um, the, the, everybody wanted the burgers. You know, sometimes you have to ask yourself, is this taco supposed to smell like fish? Hey, I chose that for for a very specific reason. So would that anyway. the Marvels, would that be fish taco night? Yes. Okay. They, they, they wanted to change the burger buffet to fish tacos. And then you're mad when people don't come for fish tacos because you're like, stop. A lot of people stop. don't come for fish tacos. Stop. And you're like questioning it. Like, why aren't they coming for fish tacos? Anymore? Because fish tacos is, is, is a more diverse uh, cuisine culturally than burgers and so it's a need, cultural thing if the tacos are fish is that cultural cuisine okay. at the all you can eat buffet <laughs> but then people stopped eating it <laughs> don't oh. our our culture hates soap <laughs> so now they got to get the douche in there to fix everything <laughs> anyway uh what are you talking i don't know what i'm talking about i don't know, I don't know what you're talking about I either don't know. I don't I, yeah look soap. i mean look this is as close as you're going to get to Disney admitting that they done fucked up, right? They fucked up the MCU. Now they want to unfuck it. And I don't know if you can unfuck it. I think it's, I think at this point, the only thing you could do, frankly, looking at the slate here is just, yeah, you know, if you want to use secret wars as a reset, just, you know, end it, just blow up the Marvel universe and then wait about 10 years and do it again, but do it better. But they're not going to. Well, what they should have done was offer burgers and fish tacos, and you could have a choice, but they didn't do that. No, we don't need the fish tacos. I hate fish tacos. Have you ever had a fish taco? They're disgusting. No, I don't like fish. Shrimp tacos are okay. I can handle those, but... Anyway. I'm glad so you don't like there, fish. There's, there's, there's a problem. They're, they're, they're admitting there's a... Wait, they aren't admitting there's a problem. There's a problem, and they're, they're, they're behind the scenes, you know, creatively retooling all their mistakes, which means they're trying to fix their mistakes. But they're not going to re reboot it or shut it down. They're just going to move – moving forward, they're going to probably pause projects, put new writers on them, you know, and then use the excuse of, hey, we got to sp spread them out more, guys. It's not because we're creative and retooling these movies and then having to have reshoot the whole thing because it was dog shit. No, no, no. It's because we can't have too many too close together. Well um, – so that's why. No, because they can't admit they're wrong because of what's going on with the proxy war. If they admit they're wrong, they're going to be like, well, wait a second. It was uh, Bob Iger and uh, this board that let this bullshit happen. Well, that's and this, a given. And know? this is why you lost hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars at the box office because – your Marvel brand is damaged and your Star Wars brand is damaged and your Pixar brand is damaged. Yeah, they're just talking about Marvel here. I don't know what they're doing about <laughs> Star Wars and everything. At Star Wars, I think Kath, Kathy Kennedy is laying low after South Park. I think well, she's just like, yeah, I'm going to Interestingly enough, here. I just want to point out that the stock was 110 before and since the, like, this article came out and some other stuff, it's dropped down to 107. Ooh. People are starting to lose confidence. Yeah. 
I gotta wonder. So speaking of Star Wars, the movies, uh, you know, Pedro Pascal is gonna be in the Mandalorian movie. I'm assuming was that his deal? Like, oh, okay, well, it's like a two movie deal or a three movie deal. So you get a Mandalorian movie. We'll we'll kill the character off at the end so Bo Katan can take over probably, and then uh, you get like two Fantastic Four. It could movies. be, or he like I want to do Marvel, and it could have been like, well, if you agree to do the Mandalorian, we'll yeah, let it could you be. That could the be Marvel film. I mean, who knows? Or it could have been, you know, he was up for the Marvel, and they thought, well, we got him. We might as well lock him in for Mandalorian. I don't know. He'd be a good Doctor Doom, but you have to keep that mask on the whole time. No, he, he doesn't do to that. show his face because he thinks he's cute. They did like a lie detector on him if he thought he was a heartthrob, and he said no, and I said that's a lie. And I was like, well, you know, he looks like a seventies porn star. I, I don't think he's cute. I mean, and that doesn't mean he's a bad actor. I just don't find him attractive. In I any think way. he's an okay actor. I don't. I mean, I personally, I mean, I know he runs with the mouth and stuff. Some people don't like him, his politics, whatever. I personally think he's an okay actor. I don't think he's great. But he's 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 okay. I just don't get the whole like he's so cute thing. I just don't get it. I definitely don't. No. I definitely don't. Like I said, I get seventies porn star energy off of it. The next question is: Were you watching a lot of seventies porn? I wasn't, but it, if I was, all the guys would look like Pedro Pascal. I'm, I have no. I'm I guessing. have nothing else. Very anyway. average guy with a mustache. That's so. That, there it who is. Delivers pizzas. It, Marvel. What? What? Marvel's admitting without admitting that they're wrong. Actually, they didn't even admit any of this. It was their sources told them. Hollywood Reporter sources are saying they are the execs are not calling it a reboot, but a, a creative retooling. A creative retooling, yeah. They're just basically trying to walk back a lot of the shitty choices and try to undo them, bring people in to fix them, salvage what they can salvage. They're probably gonna get rid of the Kang Dynasty and make it something else, which they already were working on apparently before the Majors incident. So that's probably for the best they were. Probably explains why they weren't freaking out so much. Well, Doctor Doctor Doom is a much bigger villain than. Well, Kang, I mean, you know? it worked out for them if they wanted to get rid of him because you know if the Kang Dynasty thing they wanted to get rid of him anyway um, because Qu Quantum Mania did so bad. It actually just worked out to their advantage the whole situation because. Yeah, they, they can get rid of him, and then everybody thinks they're the heroes because they got rid of him because he got convicted of two of the four counts for the abuse charges. So they're like, he's the you know they're 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 going to come out smelling like a rose. Oh, yeah, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, Kang sucks all the way around. Even though they were going to yeah. get rid of the black guy character to begin with. Well, you can't do this. So that's the thing. That, that's kind of a sticky situation, well, right? Well, you can now, I think. You couldn't. Oh, no, you can because now you have a reason to. But right. it wasn't like, oh, yeah, we, we tried him as Kang it's, and it didn't work. But, I mean, you had other you had other things you could do because he's a variant. You could have brought somebody else right. in to, to play It's like Kang, Splash but. Mountain. Like, they've been trying to change that thing to Princess and the Frog for years. Oh, yeah. And as soon yeah. as there was the uh, the the unrest that the summer. The unrest. They they used it as a, which is kind of shitty, but they used it as a way to like push it through and say, well, well, you know, and everybody's like, oh yes, you're heroes, Disney, you know, go you, go you. And that's how they, I think they did with this. They were already, if this is true, they were already planning on changing it anyway. Yep. And then they just used the opportunity to be like, well, now we can just get rid of you and we have grounds and you can't do a thing. They're not, they're not going to, they're not going to give up, says this uh, insider. They want to make things great. They want to make something great. Well, that would be a first in a while. Make Marvel great again. You don't have oh to say my that. God. So there we go, guys. Uh, I don't think they're going to be able to fix it personally. I, I really don't. And I think Deadpool. Uh, I think they're going to nerf Deadpool's it. Deadpool's going to do well. I think it's going. I think Deadpool and Wolverine is going to do well just because it's called Deadpool and Wolverine. But I can't imagine Disney letting them have. I could be wrong, but I can't imagine Disney letting them have the same freedom that Fox let them have. I don't think so either, but I also do, think you know. it's interesting that they're not having anywhere near the number of movies. Like normally you'd have like every two months you'd have a new movie or new show and they're not doing that next year. Well, yeah, it, it's just. So it, it's interesting. I mean, if there's not as much, will it make a difference? We'll have to see. Measure twice, cut once. That's the but rule. But make sure that you, yeah. you, you, you know, you're, you're using quality materials when you're, you're building something instead of. The, the not quality materials they've been using. <laughs> the dollar store hammers Make from sure China. Make sure you go with burgers yeah. and not fish tacos. There I'm we, just saying. I, there we go. All right. Let's, uh, let's wrap this one up. Yes. Uh, please subscribe. We'll talk later. Bye.